Yo, how's it going everybody? It is me, Jack here, and today I will be bringing you a new updated version of my fishing video. Last time I made one, it was, I think I called it Redfish and Tackle. Redfish Tackle Fishing Video or something like that. And it was just completely crap compared to all the baits I have now. So now I have better baits. Uh, right here actually is the only freshwater stuff I have. And on my fishing pole right now, I have a little freshwater thing. I like went freshwater fishing, I don't know, two days ago or something. And I honestly don't like freshwater fishing as much as they do saltwater. So right here I got a spider wire bag as you can see. Uh, very good efficient bag. You can hold your poles on it. You can hold two rods on it. Like, Because I always go out and ride my bike down in my fishing spots. Got a whole bunch of spots I'll show you. But right now I got a, my fishing pole I'm using right now is, let's see. It is a pin battle 2. I don't know if you guys can see it there. Uh, Right there, pin battle two, 2,500. Um, right now I got spider wire, 15 pound braid on it. And yeah, as you can see, extremely nice pool. And you may think that 2,500, it may be a pretty small size, but you can still catch huge redfish on it. All right, so let's go over here first. So that's all my freshwater stuff, which is just, all right. So right here, I never use these things. I don't even know why I have them, but I have them just in case, you never know. Uh, right here, Venom Bubba Shrimp, these, uh, shrimp usually work pretty well. I've only used them like once or twice. I've gotten a few fish on them. And then I got Venom, uh, Swim Shad, and I got these, which I actually got these in a mystery tackle box, and I'm apparently guessing they're for tarpon, or snake, no, I'm pretty sure, yeah, they're for tarpon, but... Uh, not something I would use. And then right here is saltwater assassin. I've caught a lot of red fish on these guys before. Uh, let's see what else I got. Now I got these. The Z-Man minnows, these things. They work extremely well in the water. They have like such a good, like the way that the tail just moves, it's, it, it, it seems like it attracts a lot of fish. Right here is my flat belly walker at Subo. I've never opened this. I got that in a mystery tackle box too. And then, let's see. Yeah, I just got a bass assassin, like worms or something like that. And I got this like fish sticks thing that I just put on bait that has no scent to it. So that, this all right here is just all the stuff that, I mean, I use a lot of my swim baits and stuff, but I don't use this stuff too much compared to some of my other stuff that I'm about to show you. Um, so that's just my main compartment for keeping stuff. All right, let's move on. Uh, let's see. Right in here, I got some uh, Bill Fisher swivels, 100% stainless steel. Yeah, you guys can read that. And then I got this uh, leader, Seaguar Blue Label, 100% fluorocarbon. Uh, yeah, so there's that. That's all I got in there. Yeah, yeah, that's back. That's back. And then let's see in here. Right here, um, I have all my hooks and stuff. So. That's just some flounder rig I had from a long time ago that I've never, <clears throat> jeez, that voice cracked, <laughs> that I've never used. Uh, these are just some older solo they had before I got those other ones. And then I have like a sheen, okay collection of hooks. So I got these Mustads, uh, Laser Sharp. Let's see, those are size four, those are size, these are size three. These are size two apparently, but they look a little big. Uh, these are size one, Kale hooks. And I don't know what these are. I just got these from somebody. So I'll go ahead and put these back. And then I got. Oh yeah, I showed you guys this. All right. So let's move on to here. Right here. This is the bait I use all the time. Voodoo shrimp. I usually put the swivel on, and then I put about five, six, or six, five to six to seven inches of leader on, and I put the shrimp on. Now these shrimps. It, you can guide them like they're like seven dollars for a pack of two and they work very well in the water i don't know if you can see but the tail usually moves up and down a lot it's made with like nylon leaves so it, it, it looks really good in the water i've caught that is my main bait for catching fish and right here i got these uh what is this boomerang tool company they're braid cutters they actually work really well well on braid they cut braid extremely easily Right here, I have 
all my baits. I got this, that, uh, that uh, saltwater walker. I, no, I don't do too much saltwater, topwater fishing. So, I've never really used that much. Right here I got like a whole bunch of DOA shrimp. Uh, I got this topwater lure that I still don't very really use very much. I got one jig head, those jig heads. Those beetle spins which I never use. And here, basically all I have is one hook, a few weights. That's right. Nothing exciting. I have nothing in there. And then this is here. I have my fish here. But, uh, yeah, guys, I'll be heading out later. And if I catch a fish, I am going to. Because now that I have an iPhone 6, the videos are a lot higher quality than what they were before on my iPhone 4. Like, look at how clear that shrimp is. But, uh, that's not here, says. Alright, um, yeah, that's about it. I don't really know what else to say besides I'll try and put a new video up later of my fishing stuff. Great pin battle, too. It's awesome. And that's about it. So, I will see you guys in the next video. And, yeah, I'll be posting a video tonight of me catching a fish, hopefully. If I can find one. Alright. Because I usually got to the spot where it off, but if I can see it, that's not. Man, I can't cut that out of video. If I can, there's usually an underwater dock light. If I see a fish in that dock light, I'll catch it and post it on YouTube. Because I have a GoPro. Um, actually, hold on. Let me see. I think it's in here. Is it? Oh, yeah, right here. Oh, it's not bad. You guys probably can't see that. Uh, okay, so I guess one more thing before we go. Look, right here I got a hair for. Uh, I my uncle he told me to go on. What's it called? He told me to go on uh, GoPro.com and do some software thing that I can download and put on my computer to upload video. I still have not found out how to do it. If I knew how to do it, I would upload videos because I go fishing every day and catch a fish almost every single day. So if I actually knew how to upload videos off this thing, I would go like. I would go and upload a video right now, but as you can see, here before, um, yeah, I want to upload videos on this, but I really can't, so I still don't understand how, but I guess I will go ahead and go, um, yeah, I'll leave it at that, here before, movie shrimp, and I hope this video wasn't too boring, but I'll post a video of me catching fish sometime, probably on my iPhone, because I still don't know how to use that GoPro. So, I will see you guys later. Uh, yeah, peace out.